just in case you were wondering, it is not winter throughout the entire year here in Canada. We do experience summer and right now we are headed to one of our most favorite activities and things to do during the summer and that is visiting a rib fest. Welcome to another video on my channel. My name is Busi, a South African Canadian who shares about the immigration experience my family and I have had moving from South Africa to Canada. We love going to rib fests and this is a different kind of experience for us since moving to Canada because after we moved and the pandemic hit, the first rib fest we experienced was a drive through rib fest. So this is a different type of one where we get to park and then walk in and actually get to do a lot more and see a lot more things, which was quite interesting. We then made our way into the venue where we were met with a number of vendors. There were different local businesses selling so many different things from clothing to hats to towels to honey, jewelry, so many options. And it was very interesting to see because as I mentioned before, the previous rib fests, we usually just had a drive in, get the meat, go back home and eat all because of the pandemic. And there was also live music that was playing in the background and you could sit and listen to that or watch if you wanted to do that. If you needed to withdraw cash because some of the vendors did not accept cards, there were ATMs on site that you could use and there were so many different kinds of food trucks that you could purchase from. One thing I would say you should try if you do come this side is a funnel cake if you've never had it before. We chose to come to this food truck because they had one and so many other things that were fried, like fried Mars bars, fried bananas, fried cheesecakes. And there was also a, a little piggy or, or maybe a biggish piggy <laughs> that came to say hi to the boys. But we got the fried Mars bar, fried pickles, the funnel cake, and we also got the fried banana and we shared all of these things because it was quite quite a lot quite a lot for one person to finish just one thing depending on what we got then we made our way to the tables like there were tables that you could sit at and eat while you listen and enjoy some of the music and every single thing that we got was actually very delicious they took a while like they took a while to all taste my fried pickles because i don't know like they were just skeptical of pickles being fried and that being something that tastes very nice but i had tried them a couple of times at different events going to work and i really really love the fried pickles then it was time for round two which is the actual ribs that we came for because this is a rib fest right and we tried the ribs that we got from two different food stalls and then we took those home because we were still a bit full from eating all the sweet stuff that we had i have linked a vlog of a previous rib fest that we went to which was a drive-through experience so do check that out if you didn't see it yet on the channel don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you on the next video thank you for watching